Hello, folks, and welcome back to Species. We've been through a few episodes. If you haven't checked those out, of course, go back in the playlist uh, in the description down below. Scroll down to our latest season, and you'll see the episodes. Now, um, we have a, a save going, and hopefully it's going to work. But there's been a little bit of a hot fix, uh, and it's actually going to... Uh, potentially prevent a few crashes here and there, so uh, maybe we'll be able to run a stable save right here. So we ended right here down in the sea. I think this view wasn't that good. Yeah, this is the better view for underwater. And uh, here's a little new thing. I think uh, they added in the hot fix here. Uh, a little bit, a few tips, and uh, you know, we I know how to play the game. So here's some camera things, time acceleration. Speciation, uh, how that works, uh, extinction, and then finally there's a sixth one that I have, or I, I only just read, but it's actually kind of interesting. So, one of your wild species encompasses a lot of biodiversity. Being part of the same species doesn't necessarily mean that two creatures are capable of breeding. Rather, it uh, means that they can, they are connected by a chain of creatures that can. And so, you know, at either end, uh, if they that chain is inco incompatible, or wait, the chain are genetically incompatible. When creatures at the either, aha, uh -huh. that is a ring species. Okay, all right. So I hadn't actually even read, finished reading the text, but that's actually really interesting. And I think as the the simulation progresses, you might get more tips here. But we're gonna close that off. Uh, the ones that we've gotten so far. Now we've got some underwater creatures here that uh, walk underwater. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this one sort of swims, I think. Uh, I don't know how it swims. I think. Do they have jets? Maybe not. Maybe it's just fins and flippers. Okay, that's an interesting way to move around right there. But uh, let's actually take a look at the clay diagram. All right, you can now zoom. Oops. Uh, clay diagram and click zoom to and you'll actually uh, be taken to wait what shit where's the clay diagram damn it I think I've lost it yeah we've sort of lost the clay diagram there hopefully it shows up eventually once we reopen the save maybe that's really unfortunate I might actually have to f reopen the save by force there but uh, but yeah, I mean, we have a couple of uh, specimens here, mostly the walking one that we were talking about. We look around, they're all very, very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here at them, and then we're going to let time run a bit. Someone in the comments suggested that I should uh, lower the sea level, and then slowly see uh, some specimens adapt to land. Uh, and have a few underwater, but what I think I'm gonna do actually why do we have a rover driving around? Sorry What's this feed when lower than 50? No kill creatures with low statistics swim stamina. We can delete that. I think uh, I think we're good here um, Yeah Anyway, the suggestion was raise the or yeah raise the land levels No, lower the sea levels let them adapt, but I think what we're going to do is uh, allow these specimens to adapt first to the water uh, over a very long period of time, and then slowly and sh but surely we're going to lower the sea levels. Because uh, I do want to see more variation. Right now we still have a uh, very... they're still very, you know... Yeah, we've we've barely moved on from the, the normal state here uh, that we have at uh, the blanks late. One of the things of the new hotfix, there's been quite a few since we last played, I think we were in version uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.9 or something, and now we're like 1, 1, but 16, as in the hotfix, it's still uh, version 0 0.11, uh, but yeah, one of the, the things was cannibalism now is much less common. Uh, it has been solved through a couple of things, and I'm actually going to read this off the dev uh, blog, so I, I, I don't get anything wrong here. Alright, yes, version 0 
point zero point fourteen. We're on point sixteen, so a few more things have been added here. But uh, yeah, let's have a nice camera view where we can see more things happening. Basically, uh, since two thousand twelve, when the this uh, simulator was first released to the world, it's the first alpha. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, the developer Qua Q K Quasar sort of jokingly. Uh, says species already cannibalism simulator rest in peace 2018 here uh, basically creatures will now get substantially less energy from consuming genetically similar corpses I'm reading this off the the, the 9th of October um, dev blog here empathy there's a it's not new there's been empathy before I believe but uh, basically Empathy, the trait which incentiv uh, incentivizes creatures not to hunt their own parents, children, species, is now stronger and applies to corpses as well as living creatures. Added the zoom to button, which we talked about recently. Change age-related energy loss to come out of food instead of stamina. This to prevent elderly creatures that are healthy and have full stomachs from falling asleep and never waking up until they starve. Okay, that's interesting. Added one or two amorousness emotion as a backup behavior if the creature cannot find a mate. Alright, okay, yeah, and there are some more things, but basically it's the cannibalism thing there in the beginning that uh, is mostly interesting because now I don't know if it, it, it applies to this old save here. Ooh, what is this? Did you do you see that? Uh huh. Maybe it's the camera mode. Because if we're like this, right? It's the tilt is different. Uh. But yeah, I think I don't, I'm not sure if it applies to the save. Because if I actually go here on the file and world options, uh, we can look at uh, population control. Me meat efficiency is very high. Uh, but. This is just, you know, general meat efficiency. It doesn't have the actual uh, background uh, values running. So maybe it's a game-wide application. Uh, so maybe it should work in these older saves. And it's kind of nice because, to be honest, you know, obviously it's, it's sort of fun to see a little bit of cannibalism, but... It's been sort of ridiculous if we look back at the old versions, and you can see that by uh, by looking at the old videos that I have on my channel, uh, which are all in the same uh, uh, what's it called playlist. Uh, at least this when this video is released, it's basically it's it's basically ridiculous because you'll see you know the parent has a child and immediately eats the eats the child or has the child and immediately the child eats the parent it's you know cool maybe once in a while if there was a species that did that but not when every single species uh, goes around and does that and it's kinda well, this is interesting though let's let's take a look at these animals it's kinda cool I don't know if it's cuz we ended up on a different part of the map but it f already feels like we've left it running a few more minutes here in total and uh, it does look like they are developing longer legs, and maybe eventually they will lose their legs here. Alright, I've reloaded the save here, uh, and it looks like the clay diagram is actually broken, so we're gonna clean, and then zoom to. I restarted the clay diagram, it says. Alright, St still might be broken, not sure what's going on there, might be because it's an old save. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, there we it is. All right. Zoom to... Oh, fuck. Okay, go back. No, 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 no. No, no. Here, here we go. Here we go. All right. Where is the... There are the things. Zoom in. All right. So we've lost uh, all the development there, which is unfortunate because I clicked clean. But now I sort of know how zoomed out it starts and where to find... Uh, the original, and here we can see the major species that are developing, and yes, it's, I think it's just, we happened to look at this major one with the long legs, but the other ones are definitely moving away. It's very unfortunate that we can't, can't look back. We might have to look back in older videos to actually see that. Uh, but yeah, obviously they're all related so far, and we should definitely leave this running for a while to see some more speciation happen. 
I do think, though, that before we do that, we're going to lower the fertility slowly here. First from 2 to 1.8, because, you know, we do have a lot of herbivores going, and that doesn't really make me... It's not very fun, you know, if it's if everyone's a herbivore. It is kind of interesting. It looks like we have less vegetation, and in a way, that's almost like raising the sea level underwater. Uh, because, you know, the less vegetation is spread out, the less they can interact with each other. So we're actually going to lower this uh, just a little bit more to 1.6 and see what happens here on the map. I think uh, it's not super noticeable at first, but yeah. Also, this is obviously not seaweed or anything. I mean, it is, uh, but it's like kelp. Uh, thank you, by the way, for the comments. Uh, it is kelp, correct. No, changing the fertility is not changing the vegetation, to be honest. Not that I can see, at least. Ah, oh, I love just watching the creatures walk off, swim off into the distance. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's continue lowering the fertility a little bit. We'll go to 1.4. I don't want to be too drastic, of course. Uh, all these changes are still quite drastic at the speed that we've done them. Uh, but then we'll, let, we'll uh, let it stabilize for a while after this change. And then after that, we will uh, start messing with the temperature, I think. And then eventually... Before we lower the sea level, I also want to mess with uh, the climate control devices. It's been quite a long time since we messed around with those. They are really cool. And then we could also start building fences and stuff. I don't know how the fences work underwater. I doubt they... But, you know, then we can, like, contain some creatures uh, and try to force speciation that way. And then we might have some swimmers that uh, go along and swim out of there, hopefully. Obviously, this is uh, very early in the update in terms of, like, of course, it's it's still an alpha, this whole thing. And uh, the fins and flippers update is very recent. But, at least from this map, what we can see here, it does look like creatures have a tendency to not develop swimming abilities. And then still develop walking abilities, even though they're underwater. It's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe we can uh, change that in some way. But... It'd be interesting if it was more, a little bit more natural, so that we don't actually have to force that through. Alright, we've I've manually moved a couple of specimens to the little aisles of, uh, of plants over here. You'll see that this one that we're staring at right here in front of us is quite deep, if we take a look here. It's quite up a uh, hill up to get to the main area here. And then you s start going down again to get... Uh, to where we are over here. It's quite a few hills. Um, up north on the map, was it here? This is the edge. Yes, here. Uh, they're also quite... No, wait, am I looking wrong? Yes, I'm looking on wrong. Here we are. These guys are quite isolated from the rest, and uh, hopefully there won't be any mixing there, so we'll actually start seeing some speciation here. We see dominant groups, but... I think eventually we will see them uh, creating their own branches. Alright, so we have our nursery over here, but over here, uh, right over here, I think we have our highest point on the map. That's actually, oh, that camera view was not so good, but yeah, okay, we have this area, and then we have something over there and something over there. Well, let's take a look with let's see, the, other, the other camera. I think, was it over here? No, it's over here. It's this area. Not as shallow. And then we had a slight patch uh, just off in this direction. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, this is like frozen. This is ice. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at our clay diagram. We have uh, some definite speciation going on here. Uh, hopefully they start branching off, surviving, I don't know. Maybe we actually need some more radical changes, so we have an, uh, an average temperature of 11.2. Let's go to 6.8. That's quite a jump. 
Yeah, it looks like the t temperature change didn't do much, and we're at one fertility, so let's go ahead and reduce the temperature a little bit more to 2.4 degrees on average. Uh, this is quite interesting. It looks like where they eat the, the plants, the ice sort of melts on top of that. I don't know if it's where the plants grow or they... Yeah. It is kind of interesting, though. Just an interesting remark. Looks like the populations have plummeted. Uh, our 50th attempt to get a species to thrive down here has failed, so I'm just going to start ignoring that now. Yeah, alright. Nothing much seems to be happening, to be honest. I mean, they'll, they're they dying off, but they still have the same colors. We've um, we've developed quite a bit, though. I mean, if you look at these changes, uh, we have radically different species compared to when we cl cleared the slate over here. I mean, we had a few different forms, but they were definitely a lot more similar to each other. Now, uh, I think we are going to begin lowering the sea level. However, that will have to wait for the next episode because we have, unfortunately, run out of time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave suggestions down below for what I should do. I always am open to suggestions. I need them, in fact, for species to stay fun. Uh, and uh, don't forget you should leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, tell your friends about this video. Sharing is caring. This has been Game Gapster. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Farewell.